Hi, welcome to a quick review of the Cask Vertigo helmet. Um, before I begin, just wanted to talk a, bit, a little bit about the shopping experience from Wiggle this time. They are very, very good ordinarily, but this time I think uh, they've been a bit silly. They supplied the two helmets that I ordered. I ordered medium and large just to uh, make sure I had the right fitting. And they've sent them, supplied them in what I think is a wheel a box you put a pair of wheels in. So the box is just like far too big really for the helmets. I would have preferred it if they just sent them in each in their own individual box because this, the helmets themselves had slid around inside the big box. One of the helmets was out, out of its packaging just floating around inside this unnecessarily big box. On to the second part I ordered a medium and a large. The helmets didn't arrive as quick as I, as I, as I would imagine so I, I did email them to say why haven't they arrived yet, they haven't been dispatched and they didn't actually have them in stock. They apologised and said they would send them out as soon as possible. So when they eventually did come in this ginormous box, what did they do? They sent me two medium helmets instead of a medium and a large. So I had to send them a photograph to prove that they had sent me two mediums and then um, they wanted me to return one medium so they could send me a large which was like, they do provide a free return service, uh, the nearest one that uh, outlet that does that for me is like, it's a 30 mile plus round trip. So I said that's just totally unacceptable to me, why not just send me a large helmet and charge me for it? Again, so I'm now charged for three helmets on my credit card. So that's what they've done to work around it, but I'm not exactly happy with it, but there you go. Um, now on to the review. So here we go, this is the Cask Vertigo helmet, made in Italy, worn by Sky Pro Cycling Team. Um, I think they wear another one of them, I think they might wear the Mojito as well, some of them. Uh, and of course, you will have noticed that quite a few of the teams now are wearing helmets that are less vented. I think there's a less vented version of this as well. Um, and I just really like the look of it when I'd seen those riders wearing it. I like this little bit that comes down, covers the back of your head. And I'd seen videos on YouTube um, giving it favourable reviews. Um, in my last video, I reviewed the cat-like Mixino helmet, which I also like the look of. But I was very disappointed in it. It seemed, although the, the actual shell was really, really good and the design of it was good, the internal sections were cheap, I would say. Now, that is not the same with the cask. Um, very, very pleased with it very very good quality and um, this rear retention system as you can see is very very well constructed they have like a it's like a jointed system that it's uh, let me just uh, reduce that a little bit it, it drops in and out so you could you lower this bit to the back of your head and then tighten it up and everything just seems to magically fit um, it has a leatherette strap to go underneath your chin uh, which is adjustable and the straps themselves are just way above what, what they were like on the Cat Light Maxino and what you would expect from a helmet that costs over £150 or around about the £150 mark. The fitting is easy, it feels very very secure on your head. Um, I've worn it twice now. It is very very well vented. I went out today in what was a very very cold day indeed. Um, and I had my under helmet head warmer on and the extra vintage <laughs> um, I could feel more of the cold wind on my head I have to say but it feels very light when it's on uh, if I've switched back to my older helmet I can tell the difference and it is just a very very well made helmet um, I got the one with the Union Jack uh, on it and I just think it, it looks really really good as well um, the only thing that I would mark cask down on is the lack of sizing. There's a medium and a large. Now the medium is up to 58 centimeters, the large is 59, I think it's 59 to 62 centimeters. Now that when I first saw the medium, 
I thought that is never going to fit me. When you get them, the this part is ratcheted inside, and it makes the it, it makes the, the helmet look really, really small. Once you've actually extracted this bit out, it does fit. It fits very, very snugly, and I worried about putting winter hats on underneath because it was quite quite snug but once you've worn it a couple of times it's as if and this sounds a bit ridiculous as if it kind of stretches to fit <laughs> that's not possible I know because it's a rigid structure but I got it's fine the large um, when I put it on looks like I've got a bucket on my head basically and it, it, it is too large I have to use the the ratchet adjuster and it just feels wobbly why I'm marking cask down for that is because I think there should really be a slight bigger variation in size, a small, medium and a large to uh, to allow for that. Um, I, I fully appreciate it's probably just to cut down on production costs to uh, to allow, you know, more profit for them, I suppose. Um, but yeah, it's I, I, I really rate this helmet. Um, as opposed to the my previous older helmet and also to my you know foray into the cat-like uh, cat Mixino which was pretty rubbish uh, so yeah I really like this helmet yeah so this is the helmet on snug ratchet system at the back you can move this bit up and down as I say it's kind of uh, jointed inside so you can move um, the rear pads up and down I hope you can see that because I can't see what I'm looking at um, I have noticed on forums and various reviews that I've seen online some people have said that your glasses come into connection with this and they kind of block them and that's true if I wanted to put my specs behind my ears it wouldn't work um, it's okay when I've got a winter hat on underneath because I usually have the glasses over the top of the winter hat anyway but all you need to do is just move your spectacle arms just slightly above your ears like that and it, it works fine um, was there something else I was going to add? Oh yeah, I like this little leatherette strap, it w it's perfectly comfortable. The only thing, again, just a slight little niggle, there's no real bad things about this helmet. It's And all helmet manufacturers do it. When you get the helmet, I'll just get the stuff. All these little tickets, manufacturer's instructions, what little parts are made of, this bit, the, a full booklet. They're always on a little tag on here. Why do they do that? <laughs> because anybody, I mean, nobody really likes to wear a helmet. I'm not really a big fan of helmets. And you get the, the, the helmet and you've got this flappy bit of stuff all stuck next to your face, which just like, you know, it makes the helmet feel uncomfortable from the word go. Um, nobody likes something hanging off their chin. I'm not sure where the hell they can put it, but even if it was on a longer cord or it was hanging off the back or something, I'm not sure. But to stick it there, so you're trying to put the strap on with this, the, all these little booklets and tickets and God knows what else hanging off it, 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 it's not a good idea. But yeah, I'm niggling now. The helmet's great. Thanks for watching. <laughs>